The ability to import your own MIDI files into GarageBand on the iPad and the iPhone is something that folks have been asking for for a long time. Well, it is here in the latest version. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import MIDI files into GarageBand in iOS. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And now, if you've been creating music for a while, you're probably aware of MIDI, which stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And MIDI is a standard that's been around for a really long time, uh, probably 30 plus years. But what it allows you to do is actually program different patterns in using MIDI data. So you can program in the note, the velocity of the note, and a bunch of other information about the instrument that's playing that note and you can create a MIDI file. Now MIDI files have been around again for a long time but GarageBand here in iOS has never been able to actually import MIDI. It still can't export MIDI so apologies if you're looking for the, that ability but you can now import your MIDI files. So in this video I'm going to show you how we can download and import a MIDI file into our projects here in GarageBand. Here we are in GarageBand, we've got a blank project ready to go and we are ready to import a MIDI file. Now, before we jump in and do this, a MIDI file can be a single track with a single instrument or it can be multiple tracks with multiple instruments. And what GarageBand is going to do is try and match up with some of its virtual instruments with the MIDI instruments that are actually in these files, which is actually pretty cool. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So firstly, we need to download a file. So and the device here, we're going to go out, we're going to go into Safari, and I'm actually going to go to my favorite MIDI site. You can see I've been there before, which is miditune.com and hit go. Now make sure you're using the Safari browser for this because it will help you actually download the file, whereas uh, Chrome doesn't seem to work and some of the other browsers don't seem to work too well. Now what I'm going to search for is my favorite old school MIDI file. This is canyon.mid and if you're an old school computer geek like me, uh, this is one of the MIDI files that came with Windows 95 way back in the day and it's a classic MIDI track and it's got a bunch of different instruments and a bunch of different sounds, which is why I wanted to try Try this out here. So we're going to tap on the result there. I'm hoping this is uh, one that's going to be the right version. And then to download it, we're just going to tap right here on the file name where it's got this blue file name. Now it's gone to the download. What we need to do now is tap on the more button down the bottom here. And now we can save it to our files. So let's tap save to files. And we can choose to put it absolutely anywhere. We can put it on our iCloud drive or we can put it wherever we like. I'm going to throw it straight in my GarageBand file transfer folder because this way GarageBand will find it and pick it up and then put it in our GarageBand folder ready for us to add to our project. So we're going to tap on add. That is now done. We will double tap and tap back here on GarageBand. And then look, we've got our little loop icon here. We've got a little one next to our loop icon. So if we tap on loops, it's going to pop up here and then right here in our files is our ver classical various canyon.mid. So to bring this in now, all we need to do is tap and hold and drag across. Now look at this. You can see it's a little green box there because it doesn't know how long it is. It doesn't know how many tracks it is until it does its processing. So when we release, it's going to go away and there we go. We've got all of our different tracks all of the different instruments that it's assigned to all of these different tracks, and we are ready to go ahead and play this MIDI file. All right, let's hit play and take a listen, and then we'll jump in and see exactly how GarageBand has imported this track. So there you go, I won't play too much of that. I'm not actually sure if that's a copyrighted tune or not, but I don't want to get a copyright strike all the same. So let's uh, bring this out here now and you can see here first thing you might notice is that the volumes have been set using automation so instead of having the sliders here that we can adjust we can't actually adjust those sliders they are set but if we do want to adjust those we can tap tap again go to automation and you can see there that we can adjust the automation volume by sliding that the whole line up or down like so, or we can create our own automation points. And as always, I've got videos all about using automation in GarageBand, which I will link in the description as well. Um, so that is how it sets up there. Now you'll notice the instruments, it's just brought in various different instruments. So we've got the raw lead, we've got our classic clean guitar, we've got our classical grand, uh, we have our P bass, we have our hard rock guitar, glockenspiel, our SoCal drum kit, our choir and then uh, some piano tracks to finish things off and we can treat this now like we would any other sort of uh, uh, garage band track we can just solo particular tracks uh, 
uh, we can mute, we can play, whatever we want to do. In here, we can edit these now. So these are completely editable MIDI tracks. We can tap, tap again, go to edit, and we can come in here and actually edit the MIDI note data, if I can find it, it's all the way up here. So you can come in here, you can change around all of the MIDI note information. So it's a pretty cool, you can even then come in here and do your panning. In fact, these are already panned. So you can see here, it's actually got some stereo panning information on some of these instruments. The other cool thing about MIDI is you can see here that the MIDI drums, and uh, I could probably do another whole video about MIDI drum loops because they're a thing unto themselves. But if we just solo just these drums, listen to how cool this drum beat is. Very cool. So you can see again how powerful that's going to be that you can bring in MIDI drum loops. And MIDI doesn't have to be all of these complicated tracks. MIDI can be a single line or a single instrument playing single notes. It can be as simple as that or it can be as complex as a multi-track song like this particular one, Canyon.mid. So there you go. There's the basics of how we can download and import a MIDI track here into GarageBand. Go away and try it. Have some fun with it. And uh, thanks again. If you've got any other ideas about this uh, and about how to import MIDI and things that you're picking up, also let me know about those in the, in the comments. I'd love to hear what you are finding and you, what you are discovering with this cool new feature. And there you go, a very cool feature that is going to give you a lot of flexibility and help you have a lot of fun creating music and importing your own MIDI files here in GarageBand. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you would like to check out some other videos all about creating in GarageBand, we've got two more linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.